Know that you're making a positive difference to your health and to the environment. Not to the cows, though. YouTube, YouTube, welcome to Food Tides and welcome back to another episode of The Last Diet Bender, the best health food review series on YouTube. I'm Kenton and today I will be reviewing Keto Crisps. Keto Crisps. So I saw this product in my local vitamin shop. It's a keto product, so you know, not going to be very high in carbs. Um, we're going to get into that obviously, but as you can see, it's called Keto Chips Pizza High Fat Cheese Crisps, okay? Uh, it says 100% premium artisan cheese, 1% carbs. <clears throat> um, let's look at the back here. So it says our 100% natural cheese crisps are locally and sustainably sourced. Keto crisps get their unique and premium flavor from the family farm cows that are ethically cared for by local farmers. Only the highest quality and freshest milk is used to make keto crisps. Pretty fancy, I guess. Uh, as you crunch away on this high fat snack, Know that you're making a positive difference to your health and to the environment, not to the cows though. The nutrition facts say 170 calories, 14 grams of fat, two grams of carbs, 10 grams of protein, and that's per one serving. So there's actually two servings in this entire bag. If you eat the whole thing, you know, you do the math, it'll be around 340 calories, and then you just double the macros from there. A serving is about seven crisps, so it says 25 grams, be mindful of that if you're eating this. There are two servings in one entire bag. The main ingredients are pasteurized milk, cheese cultures, microbial coagulant, whey, tomato powder, salt, onion powder, natural flavors, spices, garlic powder, etc. etc. Let's let's dig right in. Alright. Okay, cool. So um, as you can see, let, well let me grab my plate here. They're just like little well, I was getting ahead of myself there, man. You saw that? Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Like, my mouth is watering right now. Well, uh, these are just, like, little cheese chips, you know? I don't know if you've ever done that before where you... I've done this before where I've taken a handful of cheese, just stuck it on a plate, put it in a microwave, and then just make them up into, like... Get it real, like, warm it up enough to where it hardens up, and then they just scrape it with, the, with your fork. Delicious. So this is that pretty much in a bag. Um... I'm not gonna waste any time here. I'm just gonna try this and see what it's like. Mm. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the pizza roll snack. So it had like the cheese filling and then it was like a pretzel on the outside. I'm getting that same flavor from this. It's not bad. Like, I'm not crazy about it. I'm gonna eat all of it. But eh, it's a bit much. Like I'm not, I'm not crazy about it. It's just I don't know if it's the seasoning. I'm just not a huge fan. Yeah, I guess it is. Like, I am just straight up eating dry cheese. Um, that's pretty much what it is. To be honest with you, I feel like you can save yourself the money, get your own cheese, and just you know do whatever you want to do with it. Eat the cheese, just eat melted cheese, because that's pretty much what this is. Except the dry, you know. Add your own seasoning to it, whatever. But yeah, it's all right. I mean, this review isn't gonna be too long because it's just just one little one little try. But um, I'll give this probably just like a seven. I don't see like it's it's average. Like it's okay. Um, it's nothing spectacular. I wouldn't say it tastes bad. I just personally wouldn't really eat this all the time. It's a uh, you can just taste how fattening it is. To be honest, like it, it for sure is a keto a keto product. Um, it's straight cheese. That's it for the review though, I mean, it's really short. There's not much to these. I probably should have <clears throat> seen if they had more, but these are the only flavor that I saw. This is what it is, 6.57. Thanks again for watching another episode of The Last Diet Bender. Stay tuned for another episode where I put you more on that nutritional game.